So hi everyone. This is take nine, I believe. <laughs> I think it's been a minute or two since I've had something that I can send to the whole district and right now I have two. So first we're going to start off with using templates in Google email. For me there are certain emails that I feel like I have to send all the time and I like to be thorough in my responses so I create templates in order to be able to send them out. What I used to do is I used to use Google Keep. So if you look here on the right hand side of my Google screen I have my little apps running and in Chrome one of the ones I have is Google Keep. So what I had created are these ready to go emails. But in the case of like parent power school emails what I would have to do is go in here I would then have to copy everything that I want and once I copy it then I would bring it over to an email and I would vomit it in which is not that much work but then I lose any of my formatting like I usually like to um, put in some bold or some italics you know how I like to make my emails fancy but in this case now what I can do is I can create an email template so I can format it any way I want so now I've put my content into my email and I have to actually remove any of my signature information because that I will show you where it shows up in a minute so I'm going to delete all of my fancy signature so all it has is my beautiful formatted I'm pretending mine is email that I send over and over and over and over again and I'm going to save it as a template. So if I go in here with a little snowman at the bottom, I'm gonna be able to go in and do templates, and then I'm going to be able to save the draft as a template. So I actually had already created one because I've done this email 15 times, not email, video. Don't make me do it a 16th time. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna write one over, but you could create a new name or you could create 10 of them, it's up to you. So now I have my email, it's saved as a template. If you don't get that option, which I didn't the first time, who knew? You wanna be clicking on your email settings cogwheel here, and when you click on that, your settings come up, and then you can go into see all settings, and then you go to advanced where you're all afraid to go. And when you click on that, you wanna make sure that your templates are enabled. Mine weren't, I enabled them, now they're working. but. Once they're up and running and they're working, now I have a template ready to go. So I've created it. So great. This is perfect for right now because I'm ready to send this email off, but what about in 10 minutes when I have to do another one? So let's say this one is gone and I get a request for another one. I'm going to go to compose like I normally would, which is behind my picture here, right there. And when I do compose, I can now go down to the same three dots, the snowman, click on it, I can go to templates, and I can choose the template that I want, of which I only have one that I've made 15 times. And now I can put it into my email. It has everything in there. If I've put in some formatting, it looks gorgeous, and it automatically adds my signature. So all I have to do is just customize whatever information I need to put in there for this particular one. I might want to put in the D or whatever, just all the information that I would do to individualize it, and then I can send it off. I just think it's one step easier than having a template on the right-hand side that I copy and paste into, especially if you want the formatting to look a certain way. So the other thing that I'm sharing today is something a little bit more fun. Today's Google Doodle is interactive and it celebrates the birthday of video game pioneer Jerry Lawson. He is the inventor of the Channel F system, the gaming system, Channel F, F standing for fun. So I'll leave some links in the email so that you can go back if you don't catch it today, including some behind the scenes information about the game designers and artists of this Google Doodle, as well as a great YouTube video to watch that talks about him and his, his um, early influence on video gaming. It's pretty cool. And then you can use the actual game. So when you click on it, it opens up a game and then you can play it like you can, oops, I'm not great at video games, um, or you can edit them and the students can work with some of the interactive features to change the way the game works or the, w the way that the game looks and they can create their own versions. So I thought these would be two things that would be fun to save and to share with your students. So thanks for listening.